And when you notice a dream catcher, you, you always see different leaves. You ever notice that in a dream catcher? Okay, this represents uh, our community. And all these dots would be businesses or O'Connor Park, all people's meeting places. And uh, all the different leaves would, would uh, demonstrate the different communities within the community. But they all, they all sort of connect. That is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's my story. And uh, it's, it goes, uh, this is the story of this, of, uh, this, what's her name? of this Anishinaabe guy named Gus, who, was, who got transplanted to a place in the cold, cold north. That's up here. I'm from Windsor, so this is <laughs> <laughs> He had an idea for something, for, for something he, he could put together to help people who wanted to learn how to read and write better than they already did. He told this story to a guy named Jim, who worked at a place called Better Beginnings. And Jim reached out a hand to him and offered him help to put together what he, the thing that he, that he wanted to do. And uh, offered him help to put this thing together. Gus found, Gus found a place among, uh, among these strangers, these former strangers, and for that he's grateful. And. Uh, um, the po I, it's like a postscript in the center. I said, this story is like the drawing. It's simple, it's true, and it's mine. Mm. We got over 175, 180 people in all the different programs and meetings and places that we went involved in this process. Uh, one of the programs that got really involved and really excited was the Traveling Road Show, which is a parent-child drop-in center that we run in all the different housing projects here. And uh, the facilitator of this program, Rita McLaughlin, just was thrilled with this whole idea. It's Bobby and, and uh, St. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you draw a little, yeah. 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 A little it's something. A lot of fun. And I like doing the shopping. Uh, yeah, okay. There are your three main elements. This is your community. Right. This is where it goes. You're too, oh, there's all people, so. <laughs> yeah, they're not to the degree of these. And you just do really kids on one, children but then on one. You do well, one. children on one and um, maybe two hands. Because they're helping each other. Okay, we'll put children. We'll just yeah, put. Like we'll throw hands. ideas so, in there. Children a, a, here. We'll put hands. Yeah, because that's for. Well, that's and what, even if you do through a the offices, we're we'll mostly hands or something. That okay, there's just two. There's one. Okay, more ideas for the other two walls. What do you mean? For well, we have to have we should also get money for all, from all these organizations we're to not, help make it even we better. We are not Callum, looking for because, money right because, now. What no. we're saying is list your so sponsors. You and they'll appreciate it, and in turn they give more money next time because they've been appreciated. What do you think about using, like, all the greening that we've done? We've got to tie in, like you said, this greening and the, uh, all these green things and all this environmental protection stuff including saving the mountain. It could yeah. be on one side, <coughs> and the other okay. side could be the other program. Again, so we may have no people, but, but then, event. like you're getting to your step idea, this could be how did we achieve these, what we've done with the help of the sponsors going down the steps. Okay. What we decided to do was to use this drawing process not only as a, as a consultation to get people's ideas and their feelings about the community, but we also wanted to use it as a way to start drawing people into what we called the core group, which would be the group that would basically decide taking all of this material, all of these ideas, all of these drawings, all of these thoughts, and try to pull them together. <laughs> Sometimes when I went back, I was working with up to 40 people at a time, which ca could be kind of confusing and chaotic. Why you know what? You can paint another hand today. It's okay. No, no, no. Okay. What happened, though, is you didn't want to paint. Hang on a second. We just wanted to get them done by last Saturday. Why? What the end of the Saturday? A lot of people had never handled paint, so paint was a part of their hesitation, like how do I control this? 
How do I paint what I, I cool. see? I found that with children, they were gung-ho, and they would just want to paint, 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 paint. And they broke the ice often for the adults that were participating. It's not always about having something that is recognizable, that it is a picture, I recognize it, but it is about feeling, expressing, participating, doing. I think it's great just to have, to give people a chance to ex uh, externalize some of the feeling, because for me, like, doing this for, uh, is just a, uh, I'm kind of in a dream and uh, a lot of things happening to coming together, you know, just uh, I'm trying to show in this paint a little bit of mixing of people, mixing of uh, cultures, mixing of color. And I come from a culture where the hands is the most important part of uh, people. You don't talk to someone, you don't introduce your, yourself to someone without shaking their hands. I think that for me the hand symbolized people getting, being ready to to, to, to make this circle of uh, hand, hand in hand and uh, just being together. And I think that's, uh, that's what I see in this whole thing, just to be sure that uh, you tend to forget that, that human contact is so important, that uh, you know, it's just not only, hi, how are you, my name is, but hey, how are you, uh, shake the hands. And I think these hands, that's what it represents for me. And everybody has something that they put into these hands and putting them together into just, wow, <laughs> all of us together and uh, it's no just beautiful. After they were urethaned, the hand would just jump right out. It would just, it, it was vibrant with life. And people would come in as I brought in boxes of finished hands looking for their hand or looking for their friend's hand. See my hands? Um, I like that one right there. I like your mom's. Me too. Ooh, yeah. I, I like the way she did the tornado. I love this one. Nice. That one's nice. weird. Nice. 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 No, no. Did you, I, anybody like, find their own hand? Yeah, I found mine as well. It's a peach hand. <laughs> the decision that came out of the consultation was that the hands would be installed along uh, chain link fencing in a park that was central within the community. We laid out the hands in a random manner. Ideas start to happen naturally as we were playing with the hands. It was like a playtime. Okay, but we're not doing continuous spirals, right? No, we're, no okay. just into a wave or something. Yeah, because yeah, I like the scattered there. look yeah. on the edges. Well, since we have two center span panels, let's do like two that. spirals, one on each side, one going different ways. But we decided we were just we having one center panel and going two on each side or three on each side.